friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Saturday so it's grocery haul day and I have a super fun haul for you from three stores today. Tons and tons of new exciting food finds, a really good haul. So if you're excited for today's video, don't forget to give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel or you're watching and you haven't hit that little subscribe button, I'd love it if you join my community, hit the subscribe button. And if you ring the bell next to it, you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories so that you can be most successful on your health journey. I also offer for both 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions if you want a little bit more individualized one-on-one -on -one support. Links, discount codes to all of my favorite things as well as my Facebook group are also down in that description box. So definitely check it out before you go. So let's jump into this week's grocery haul meal plan and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here is this week's grocery haul. I went to Walmart, Target drive up pickup for just a couple of things. And finally back to Trader Joe's. I missed it last week. So let me show you what I picked up. Troy wanted some frosted mini wheats. As you guys know, he's still out on medical leave. They actually extended it through the end of May. So I'm making sure we are stocked up on cereal and this is one of his favorites. I needed some Reese's pieces for meal prep. Wait until you guys see what I'm making for dessert this next week in meal prep. I have heard about these Wyman's Just Fruit, but I've never been able to find them, or I guess I just didn't look hard enough because I actually found them at Walmart. So this is the Just Fruit and Banana Bits. Simple, real ingredients. It's strawberries and little bits of banana. There's four cups in this pack. I wanna say it was $3.99, and they're 40 calories per cup and the points that were here on the screen. But I did pick that flavor up. That sounds so good. It's supposed to be kind of like a dip and dots. I also got the just fruit and Greek yogurt bites. This one's raspberries with little Greek yogurt bites, same 40 calories per cup. I was completely out of Italian seasoning. There must be an Italian seasoning shortage because this was the only one left at Walmart. I wanted the organic anyways, but there was literally zero Italian seasoning left on the shelves at Walmart. New food find is this fun Funfetti edible cookie dough with sprinkles. Now, Troy wanted me to make cookies, but I think I'm going to try to make cookies out of this. It is edible cookie dough, but you should be able to bake it as well. As you guys know, he doesn't like chocolate or white chocolate. So this is the perfect combination for cookies. I'm excited for this. It was a little bit pricey. It was $4.98 at Walmart, but I do love that you can eat it as cookie dough or bake it up into cookies. Instead of buying ginger, I have to grate myself. I found this organic ginger paste. This was in the spice aisle at Walmart. It was really affordable, less than $3. I also have seen these on TikTok. I've never tried them only because the apples aren't organic, but I thought I'd give them a try. They are 100 calories. You get sliced apples and caramel dipping sauce. So that's not bad at all. I did go ahead and pick up two of them. They were about a dollar 40 each, which is not bad at all. I had to restock a lot of our meat. So this is that three pack I always buy of the Market Side Butcher organic grass fed, grass finished ground beef. This is the 93% lean. And then I did pick up two packs. They were on sale, not a huge sale, 62 cents off of the 96% extra lean ground beef and one pound of 99% turkey. This is the no antibiotics ever ground turkey breast from Foster Farms. I needed some breakfast sausage for a recipe and I wanted turkey breakfast sausage. Trader Joe's didn't have that that I could find. So I just grabbed chicken. It's going to be close enough, but this is for my breakfast meal prep. A restock of Cleo bars. I was completely out. I picked up two vanilla and two strawberry. Daisy full fat cottage cheese for Palmer. Because he's a Frenchie, he's a French bulldog, we're trying to get his ears to stand up. And the best way to do that is to give them added calcium. So the vet recommended full fat cottage cheese. I just wanted to make sure it didn't have carrageenan in it. If you are opposed to carrageenan, really watch store brands of cottage cheese. Make sure that you're spending a little bit of extra. Just check your ingredients to make sure there's no added carrageenan. I saw these in the clearance section. These were a dollar. This is the Nestle Toll House Spring Easter Basket Morsels and More. So it says it includes three types of fun. It looks like there's peanut butter flavored morsels, pretzel sticks, and colorful candy eggs. Now they gave you a few ideas on how to use these on the back, but you can also just eat this as a snack mix. Now I know Troy won't eat the 
candy eggs, but I know he'd like the pretzels and peanut butter chips, and I thought, why not try it for a dollar? A can of green beans, no salt added for Diesel and Lola. This is my all-time favorite coffee creamer. This is the Coffee Mate Fun Fetty. This is the spring edition, so it is yellow, I believe, but how fun is that? I love the Fun Fetty creamer. If you're a big birthday cake flavored person, this one is hands down the best. I needed some whole milk for a couple of recipes, so I just always pick up the smallest one I can find at the store. A couple cheeses, my normal organic shredded mozzarella from Trader Joe's. This is hands down my favorite cheese. It's so creamy and delicious. And then of course the light shredded three cheese blend, my other very favorite cheese from Trader Joe's. New food find are these whole me grain free clusters. This particular one is cinnamon banana chip. They also had a almond one. It was in a blue package. These are a little bit pricey. I want to say it was just under six dollars for the pack, but it has really good ingredients. It's made with coconut oil, which is amazing. It has banana chips, coconut, honey pecans almonds cocoa nibs sunflower seeds pure maple syrup cinnamon and a little bit of salt 160 calories for one third of a cup and it looks like there's about eight servings in this bag so they're big chunky clusters i'm pretty excited to have these as a good healthy snack i needed this go chajang i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right sauce for a recipe and the only brand i could find was this bibby bop asian grill and honey it sounds really delicious it looks like it's 80 calories for two tablespoons. I know the recipe, you hardly used any. I don't know how spicy this is. I've actually never even heard of this sauce before, but the recipe called for it, so I picked it up. A restock of sour cream, because you know, we always like to have sour cream on hand. Troy's cheese pack for his meat, cheese, and crackers, yes. Yes, he's still on that kick. I picked up some flat out wraps because I did my shopping at Walmart this week. I wanna to try to go to Target next week and they just don't have the selection. And next week's meal prep, not the one this week, but next week requires some sort of flatbread. This is 90 calories. This is the light Italian herb. I picked this one over the Joseph Lavash bread because it had better ingredients and more fiber and more protein. So I picked that up. That's for next week's meal prep. Some cheese tortellini. This is for a dinner recipe. I decided to buy the refrigerated ones at Trader Joe's. They look really good and honest. To be completely honest, I forgot to pick them up when I was at Walmart. Trader Joe's sweet chili sauce. This is for the same recipe as that Bibby Bop, that Asian sauce right there. I actually really like this sauce, so it's nice to have this on hand, but again, I did need it for that recipe. Two bottles of Synergy Ginger Aid Kombucha. I still have a few bottles from my last Imperfect Foods order, so I didn't need too many, so I just restocked for the week and picked up two bottles. For Troy, a restock of the organic corn chip dippers. He likes these better than Fritos, he said. So I've been picking these up for him at Trader Joe's. He's just been using this in his French onion dip. For a sweet treat this week, I picked up my favorite Smash Mallows. These are the dark chocolate cold brew. It literally tastes like coffee and chocolate mocha deliciousness. These are on coupon at Target. So when I did my drive up, I went ahead and grabbed those. And one of my main reasons for going to Target was to pick up good culture. You guys know I prefer the full fat. Target doesn't carry the full fat. I've been out of cottage cheese and I am craving it. I picked up three containers. That way I have enough for myself. And if we need a little bit extra for Palmer, we'll have some extra. Some beautiful daffodils at Trader Joe's. This is two stems, $1.79. I like when they're not open yet. They just bloom within a couple days to these beautiful, bright, springy yellow flowers. So I had to grab those. And this Tuscan pan bread from Trader Joe's, my mom swears by this bread. So I went ahead and picked it up. We just needed some bread for Troy. He's been having sandwiches, grilled cheese, that type of thing while he's off of work. And everything else is produce. I did pick up one lone Fuji apple because a recipe I'm making actually called for an Asian pear. And if you couldn't find an Asian pear, it recommended subbing for a Fuji apple. I could not find an Asian pear, so Fuji apple it is. A big bag of my favorite organic sweet onions from Trader Joe's limes and lemons for my water. I'm completely out and I do like to mix it up. Sometimes I like one lime and one lemon to give it like a lemon lime flavor, but I love these lemons. They're such an affordable price. And then I needed some kale for a soup recipe and then some broccoli florets also for a dinner recipe. So that is everything with the exception of a case of Diet Coke and a case of Coors Light for Troy that I picked up for the week. So let's jump into my meal plan and the amazing recipes you'll see on Monday for meal prep. So here is what I am doing for dinners this week. Today, Saturday is always an out to dinner or support a local small business or pizza night at home. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making sausage tortellini soup. You will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. Monday is chicken Molinese. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it sounds really good. Tuesday, we'll do a leftovers night. 
Wednesday is hamburger steak with onions. I'm excited for that dinner. And then Thursday, I'm gonna do Mongolian beef. And Friday is a leftover night, so we can eat up everything from earlier in the week. So here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. You're definitely not going to wanna miss that video. For breakfast, I'm making a sausage and bacon maple biscuit bake. So this is a sweet, savory bake for breakfast. Lunch is beef bulgogi, which I'm really excited about that. And then dessert. The reason I bought those Reese's Pieces is because I'm actually making Reese's Monster Cookies. These are going to be WW and calorie friendly. So excited for that. So you'll see all three of these recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my new food finds as well as seeing what's on the menu for dinners and Monday's meal prep. You're not going to want to miss it. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, of course I'd love to have you. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Links, discount codes to my favorite things, nutrition coaching, and my Facebook group are all down in that description box. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.